All right, guys. So after uh, you have already installed Repairable WordPress plugin, which you can search in plugins or you can find in WordPress.org, after installing and activating the Repairable WordPress plugin, you will see that you already have converted your WordPress website into a very good CRM for repairing shops. Uh, this is a screen you will see where you can see the estimates and the jobs in which status they are and some other options. What you first uh, have to do, you will add some types that you operate with. You can change the types to anything else, like if you uh, <coughs> if you uh, want to change types to car types or whatever. So here you can change types. Here you can change manufacturers to anything. Here you can change devices to anything. And here you can change pin code to a label to anything. Here These things you can disable from invoices and other parts. And here you can add extra fields. If you need another field in your devices, you can add here, like charger or whatever. Uh, version etc here you can add more fields so after adding some uh, types like i have added uh, three here you will add some manufacturers uh, the brands you operate with after adding brands here you will uh, add some devices <coughs> and uh, after adding the devices you will see you will add device like this and you can also disable a device if you don't want that to appear in booking form uh, in front end so this is how you can uh, add a device and after adding a device you will add some services going here and you will add some services and in services you can first uh, this is the service screen replacement where you can uh, add a default price so and uh, the default tax what to apply taxes and other items you can manage here and this is the primary tax and you can also use inclusive or exclusive taxes so after adding and you can define prices by types prices by manufacturers or prices by devices so whatever is your criteria you will see that device will have front end like this if you want to enable it where all services and their prices depends on the device its type or its manufacturer whichever is coming first you will see here and customer can directly go from here and book the book that service <coughs> like parts replacement here customer can also see the prices of parts replacement in different devices like uh, this one like this one and here customer can book the uh, book the service for the device they have selected all right <coughs> this is the booking form in front end so there are uh, there are different form uh, there are different forms you can try different but i have uh, selected this one where customer can uh, select device type then the brand <coughs> then they will if the brand is already not listed here they can select other all right if the device is not listed here they can select other and customer can add multiple devices also they can add two devices one other one y9a so <coughs> z9a here they can enter the uh, information you already have requested you can disable whatever fields you don't need then customer will select service for this device if the service is not listed here they can just enter the service in other section all right so like this <clears throat> all right after booking the service support fix my phone customer also can attach files here if they want and then they can submit the request After request submission, customer and admin both will receive an email notification. See, I already have received email notification where they can see what they already have booked. Admin will also receive the similar notification and uh, <coughs> that booking will appear under estimates here. All right. So this is the, you can also change that if you want directly booking to go to jobs or estimates estimate you can modify the customer's quote and send them back like this one so customer can approve or reject this is the customer's booking and i think this is i, I received as <clears throat> i think this is i have received as you have received a new booking i, I received this as admin and this one i received as customer so all right admin then admin will open the job and see what re, uh, customer needs uh, the services and uh, admin will add one more <coughs> publish it and send this admin uh, estimate back to customer for approval or rejection so customer can see if they want to approve this 
okay admin also can change the tax amounts here also that if tax is inclusive or exclusive admin can also add device here if it's not available here and then add device more devices here admin can also attach files and fields here all right so let's send an estimate to customer if customer approves the estimate <coughs> then it will convert to job all right so customer will approve or reject the estimate let's approve the estimate now estimate will move to the job before it was in estimates now it will be in jobs estimate is approved let's go back to jobs and see that job here now this is a, a customer <coughs> admin will receive notification that customer have approved the estimate and uh, you can modify the templates of booking and uh, these items this is the uh, this is the approved estimate which is now in jobs which admin can open and work on it you can also duplicate a job here you can also send uh, details to customer you can also print invoice risk take payment or view edit i will open it this one and uh, so you can see further all right now what you can do you will uh, you, if you need a work order you will uh, print a work order so you can get it signed by customer uh, once they have uh, given you device or when they receive back their device and uh, scanning this uh, uh, QR code they are actually uh, scanning your terms and conditions and if they agree they will sign so you have rights to open their device whatever purpose you want to use, use it and this is a print uh, repair ticket which you can provide to customer so <clears throat> they can scan it and check the device status anytime online they will receive this case number in the ticket uh, through QR code if they scan it this is the repair ticket the customer will have to check the status of their device online this will be the page on your website whatever page you makes and customer will see this output all right while customer is checking their device status they can also add messages and attach files so they can also give you feedback about their what they are feeling whatever process is going on they can have all details here they can see what parts are added in the, this device what's going on with this device what services etc is going on all right and customer will also have their my account uh, <coughs> you can also use woocommerce account section but the customer's account page will look like this where they can see how many estimates they have pending they can see their pending estimates they can see which status their jobs are in delivered or in process uh, in good quote mode these are the tickets customer can scan uh, search by serial number of device or case number they also can filter here same with device estimates customer can approve estimate from here as well customer can add add messages and files in both customer can leave reviews to completed jobs and the, here customer can see all the list of the devices they have customer can also book up a book from their my account page all right so after the job is going on you have received a payment let's see this one 15 dollar you can also generate online payment link that will look a little different and you can print receipt here <coughs> you can also send receipt to customer directly this is the a payment receipt customer will receive like all right and when job is complete you want to give customer the job invoice there are two templates of job invoices uh, you can switch between them from here by device or by items this is the uh, invoice and this is this is the terms and conditions printed uh, just below the uh, invoice if you want to keep it or not it's your choice after you have given the, uh, uh, the invoice to customer you will change the status of the order to let's say delivered and for delivered order you already uh, this uh, you already have set up auto auto feedback request on orders uh, entering that status all right so otherwise you can also manually request a feedback or customer will receive feedback request and they will land <coughs> they will land on feedback page here mm. job feedback page here where customer can enter their case number and review their job if they already have reviewed it then it will say that your, your review does not need 
need it otherwise they can review the job like this and uh, they can save whatever they want to say or uh, an admin can then see all reviews here job reviews <clears throat> you can also attach files parts whatever items you need in jobs here you can see the reviews and payments estimates and reminder logs are, uh, are great that you can send uh, customers the reminders to bring them back here you can set up a reminder based on remind uh, interval after seven days or after uh, 360 days or whatever is your case you just need to add a new reminder opening this uh, model and here you can up update in more uh, email templates for booking and here you can update email templates for estimates all right and uh, here you can add job statuses here you can manage currency here you can manage other items like uh, country and if you want to re replace products with parts you can turn this option on and uh, sms if you want to use these are the gateways available right now you can request more and uh, service settings you can uh, explore more all right <clears throat> and after everything is done customer will uh, you can provide them a payment receipt printing from here or you can send them online payment request link whatever is your uh, interest or case so in jobs you can attach as many files as you want to attach files you just need to go to jobs and <clears throat> for on-site payment you can click on-site payment and receive here something like ten dollar twenty dollar select method if you swipe transaction then payment state will be status will be partially paid swipe transaction and this payment will be recorded in the job all right you will see it here it's up coming up all right and uh, <coughs> to attach add file uh, add files and fields just open it label your file and attach it here if you want customers to see it then select this one if you don't want customers to see it then just see this one all right and here you can also add a manual log which uh, if you want to send a reminder or whatever to customer you can select customer can see and the email will be go, will go to customer and the log will be added here this is a history log of job so these are the features and we are adding more and more i hope you like it if you have any feedback or questions please post below